Hello everybody. Hi, I'm Joel, Daddy Property Chef. Okay, so tonight we will look at uh this topic. Okay, especially for uh new buyers, right? Uh you need to be very, very um how should I put it? You must understand uh, the, what are certain terms and what are the conditions that you need in order to purchase a property. Okay, because as you all know, uh buying a property is no laughing matter. Uh that's why. I take it upon myself to share more with all of you so that you can actually understand what is going on in a nutshell. Okay, so basically, what is MSR and TDSR? So, uh, let me share with you this chart first. Okay, as you all know, uh, there's this thing called cooling measures, right? There's this thing called cooling measures by our government. Why? Because it is to pre make the market more prudent and to stop uh, the market from overheating. Uh, that means going to the bubble and bursting it. So basically, uh, from the year 20, uh, 2010, cooling measures started in uh, for Singapore. Basically, uh, it comes in the form of this few... Uh, you can see the from the markers, right? SSD, seller stamp duty. Okay, seller stamp duty. There's LTV, loan to value, which I covered in one of my other topic. ABSD, additional buyer stamp duty. I believe most buyers are very accustomed, are accustomed to it already. Then there's the TDSR, MSR. Okay, TDSR, MSR. So basically, uh, I today will be covering TDSR and MSR. Okay. So what is TDSR? Basically, in the year uh 2013 was a year of ma major changes. Uh. So previously, how they actually calculate your loan, right? How they actually calculate your loan uh, is something that's unknown to us. Okay, we only know that previously, uh, before 2010, you can borrow up to 90% of a property. Then uh, they, you can actually, if there's multiple buyers, right, we'll take the age of the youngest buyer to give the maximum loan tenure. So as, the, as we turn into 2010, right, a lot of things change. Okay, so this term TDSR came in 2013. Okay, why? Is to ensure uh, to ensure prudency for all buyers. So you can see in uh during that year, right? TDSR is lesser or equal to 60% income when applying for property loan. Compute based on existing market uh interest rate or 3.5%, whichever is higher. Okay. Let me just briefly share this thing with you. Okay, so what does it mean? Basically, from 2013, right? TDSR, total debt servicing ratio, uh, total debt servicing ratio. Let me write it down for you. Total debt servicing. Servicing ratio came in. So now 60%. What does it mean? So if if today your income is say 10,000, okay, example, your combined income, household income is 10,000. Government allows you to borrow up to 60%. Okay, based on that time, based on that time, 60%, <clears throat> that means your monthly mortgage, uh, monthly mortgage, uh, this one is important. Uh, why is it called total debt service ratio? plus whatever installments that you have. Car loans, rental loans, educational loans, uh, installments for your purchases, <coughs> credit cards, all this, right? Whether interest-free or not, uh, all this will be calculated as a total debt servicing ratio. That means your 60%, government will only allow you to use up to 60% of your monthly income to service all the mortgages and installments. So if let's say you do not have any other installments, right? By right, the maximum maximum mortgage, uh, maximum mortgage is up to 60%. So if you have 10,000, you can use 6,000 per month to service of your installment. But take note, take note, okay? Based on the chart, right? you will see that the interest rate, they will calculate at 
monthly or 3.5, whichever is higher. Why? <clears throat> because MAS, Monetary Authorities of Singapore, right, is a very prudent organization. Uh. What they will do, right, is they will project a higher interest rate. So will they shift this upwards? Maybe yes, maybe yes. But at this current moment, right, 3.5% is the highest that they are projecting based on the current market. Okay, so that means to say, if you were to take a loan, right, you'll be saying, hey, how come the interest rate at this current moment is about one point, maybe three plus 1.4 for floating, but because of the higher uh, benchmark, higher ceiling, uh, higher ceiling that MES set, right? So they will actually be calc uh, calculating all loans are uh, based on 3.5%. Okay, they'll go for the maximum 3.5%. Although you are only paying 1.3, 1.4 installment, sorry, interest, but they, are, they will be calculating your loan, assessing your loan based on 3.5%. Why? Is to ensure prudency in, uh, for every purchase. So the same thing goes for mortgage servicing ratio. That year, right? That year, oh, this is the worst. Uh. So during that year, a lot of ECs were launched. So you can see, yeah, uh, EC loans right were cut uh, from TDS, uh, which is actually a total debt servicing ratio. That means ECs were following private loans, total debt servicing ratio, and then they were cut from 60% to 30. Okay, what is what is uh MSR? <clears throat> MSR mortgage servicing ratio is usually what we used to calculate for subsidized housing. Subsidized housing. Okay, so what are subsidized housing? First, all forms of HDB, private or, uh, sorry, BTO or resale. Okay, and ECs that are directly from developers or sold within MOP under special approval. So for ECs and HDBs, right, they are sold in such a situation, uh, we will go for MSR. MSR is more stringent. Uh, so basically what will happen is they only allow up to maximum 30% of your income. Uh, they only allow you up to 30% of your income to service your loan. Uh. So this is the thing. When your monthly, even if your monthly mortgage, uh, sorry, your monthly household income is about 10,000, you are only allowed up to maximum 3,000, 3,000 to pay the uh, monthly installment for your ECs or HDB. However, ladies and gentlemen, TDSR and NMSR is inter uh, interlap. Uh. So how do we calculate this? So before before all this, right, I will share with you. Uh, I will share with you the latest because the based on the chart, right? Based on the uh chart just now. Oh, do we have it? Oh, that's great. We actually have have it. Okay, let me share with you. Uh. Based on last year, 15th of December, right? New ruling change. Uh. So now TDSR is lower or equal to 55%. That means they actually lowered this. If you have followed my earlier uh, sharing, so you know that I was mentioning there's actually no way for government to control the property market anymore. Why? Because a lot of uh, families, they are using this method called part share, whereby they are removing, they, they know that for the first property, for the first property, Government cannot apply additional buyer stamp duty onto you. So, example, me and my wife, we both own a uh, joint property. So, what happens is, we, if we were to purchase a second property, we need to pay ABSD, additional buyer stamp duty. However, however, if today what we do, uh, for this is only for private property. Uh, for HDB, you cannot. Okay, you can do this for EC after MOP, but you cannot do this for HDB flat. That means we do this thing called part share. Me and my wife, one person buys out the other. So example, uh, my wife buys out my share. So now I am homeless. Okay, theoretically speaking, I do not have any property. 
So in reality, I don't have any property anymore because my wife buys out my share. So now I can purchase a first property. Yeah. So over the last three years, uh, especially from uh, 2017, right, you realize a lot, uh, a lot of couples are doing this. Okay. So from 2017 onwards, a lot of people are doing this uh, and it's gaining popular popularity over the last three years. So a lot of people actually decoupling or part share, uh, doing part share for their current matrimonial home in order to purchase a second property. So all, all these additional buyers stamp duties do not affect them. So what did the government do? As I mentioned about uh, one year plus ago, uh, at the beginning of the COVID-19 situation, I did mention that uh, government, most likely what they can touch will be the TDSR. Okay, what they can touch is the TDSR and MSR. MSR not so much uh, because basically it's still to purchase uh, subsidized housing. So un highly unlikely that uh, they will touch it. Uh. But true enough, last year they touched on TDSR. They dropped it by 5%. So now it's 55%. Ultimately, they cannot drop too much. Why? Because if they were to lower the TDSR by too much, it is unfair for a lot of first-time buyers. It is very unfair for a lot of first-time buyers. No doubt it is to what we call stabilize the market. But it is still very, very unfair to a lot of the first-time buyers. So what did the government do? They re, uh, restructure the TDSR to 55%, lower it by another 5%. And if you uh, know right, the loan to value for HDB flats also dropped to 85% instead of the usual 90. Uh, subsidized housing, right? Uh, they still can borrow HD, uh, sorry, HDB flats, right? You are still entitled to two HDB loans directly from HDB. It was previously 90% loan maximum. Now it's also dropped to 85 Okay, so how does this affect you today? Okay, coming back. So now we know that TDSR is at 55% and MSR is at still maintaining at 30%. So if you were to purchase a private property, private property, you are allowed up to, uh, up to 55, sorry, 55% of your income to service the mortgage. But again, I always ask this question. Uh, if you are earning a household income of 10,000 a month, right? Should you be using up to the maximum 55% to pay for your mortgage? Uh? I think it's clearly a no. Uh. I don't care whether you have any credit cards or not. You have, uh, whether you have uh, a car loan or not. But you must understand one thing. Once you max out the maximum 55%, right? How are you going? How is this going to affect your lifestyle? That means to say that any other any other uh, considerations you cannot consider anymore. How about if you're gonna have kids? How about uh after purchasing the house you need to renovate and you do not have enough cash? Do you need a renovation loan? So there are so many uncertainties. I will never ever encourage anybody to max out their TDSR. Okay, so TESR is very straightforward, maximum 55%. You should not max out, max it out. But MSR, this is the tricky part. So MSR, a lot of people say, oh, never mind, I go and buy, I can still get up to 30%. Okay, anyway, it's just 30%. Yes and no. Why? Because you must understand, from your income, right, TDSR is 55%. Okay? So today, if you are buying MSR, right, by right, it's 30%. Uh, it, should not have, uh, it should not have any relationship, right? Sorry, you are wrong. So it is like, I call you an example. If today you were to purchase a property, you were to purchase a property, you were to purchase a HDB flat, okay? By right, if you were going for 30% MSR, hey, by right, maybe the loan is sufficient. However, if today your TDSR has already supersede, okay, supersede. Remember, uh, total debt servicing ratio. So MSR is 30%, right? How much is your remaining credit? Uh? By right, it's 25%, right? So if at this current moment, your TDSR has already exceed 25%, let's give it a, a 30%. Okay, if your TDSR is already at 30% for car loans, credit cards, all these others, right? 
Will it affect your MSR? Yes, it will. Because total debt servicing ratio is still uh, interrelated. Okay, it's still binding on MSR. So today, if your TDSR is already at 30%, how much MSR can you get? 25, okay? They are still interrelated. They are still interrelated. So do not think that, oh, never mind, TDSR is TDSR, MSR is MSR. No, it does not work that way, okay? When it comes to housing loan, right? When it comes to property loan, right? You must, these two are still interlinked. Even if you pass the MSR, you must still clear the TSR as well, especially when it comes to subsidized housing, okay? This is very, very strict. So for those of you who are thinking of getting a property, right? If you are thinking of getting a property, it is best if you speak to a banker. It is best, don't speculate, okay? Don't listen to what Facebook tell you, okay? Don't even just bank on whatever I'm sharing with you now. Although either facts and figures, I'm sh whatever I'm sharing with you is directly uh, directly from uh, the MAS website. Uh. Okay, so come, let me, let me, let me share with you. Uh. Okay, so... This is directly from MES website. Yeah. So MES ruling, MSR, sorry, MSR rules is kept at 30% of the borrower's gross monthly income. This is for HDB flat, executive condominium. Okay. How do we calculate the MSR? All the, we will we'll take into consideration, right? All the uh, borrowers, property loans, at least 20% of the monthly debt obligation to, for any property when where the borrower is a guarantor, okay? So, TDSR, right, at this current moment, maximum 55%, okay? TDSR, at this uh, max, uh, current moment, maximum 55%. So, for those of you, right, who wants to know, please log in to mas.gov.sg and then search for MSR and TDSR, okay? Otherwise, if you're unsure, right, you can also, if you have any questions about property that you're unsure of, you can post it. Uh, you can join our community, SG Property Guide. Okay, at this current moment, it's a public group, but we'll uh, switch, be switching it to private uh, in a while. Basically, for this group, right, you can see our guidelines. There is no spamming no advertisement this is a no spamming no advertisement zone we will even myself i will not be posting any of my listings on it this is purely for the sharing of information for property in singapore okay singapore property unless of course if you ask me about all overseas now then maybe i will i will talk about it but basically is strictly uh at this current moment we are only targeting for singapore properties just to give you a clearer picture so for those of you right for those of you who are interested to know more about Singapore properties, please join our community. And at the same time, if you like, you can post the questions there. I will answer it for you to the best of my, uh, I'll get the correct answers from you from the relevant uh, authorities. And at the same time, at the same time, okay, if you do a shy, la, you don't want to post, right? You can just PM me. Okay, you can just PM me. I will keep your name and nick out of it. Okay, out of the post. Okay, so, uh, I hope all this is uh, good for you. For those of you who have any uh, other questions, right? Uh, you can just reach out to us. Uh, we'll do our best to assist you. Okay, with that, thank you so much for joining us in this sharing again. Daddy Property Chef here. I'm Joel. Let's make you do well. Bye-bye.